Did you ever have a nightmare about being stuck in Chuck E. Cheese at night and the animatronic dolls come alive to kill you? If you have, then we got a movie for you. Welcome to another episode of the Popcorn Confessional. This is Dave from Nerdbox, and I'm accompanied by my wife, Jen, also from Nerdbox. And on this episode of 31 Days of Halloween, we are talking about Willy's Wonderland. So fire up that Jiffy Pop and meet us in the booth. down, a quiet loner agrees to clean an abandoned family fun center in exchange for the repairs. He soon finds himself waging war against possessed animatronic mascots while trapped inside Willy's Wonderland. Nicholas Cage is the person I'm speaking of and he plays the janitor. Who never talks in the film at all. Not a word. I went into this film expecting very little. I knew I was going to get probably an over-the-top performance from Nick Cage. Not only did I get that, but the movie is a fun popcorn flick that you can kick back and enjoy while Nicolas Cage slays some animatronic possessed creatures. Now you get the expected in this type of film. You have the bumbling kids that are led to the slaughter with less gore than you would kind of expect in the movie. I thought that was a little tame. Yeah, it was. The pacing is good, as we don't spend an enormous amount of time trying to establish these characters to get you to care for them, because really, all we're there is, is to see some animatronic dolls kill things. Yeah, and to see Nick Cage kick ass, because yes. that's what he's good at. It's, it's a fun movie. You know, there is not a lot of story, which is great. There doesn't need to be, right? It's like possessed animatronics. Nick Cage is there to kick their asses. And that's, you know, I mean, really what they're doing is setting him up to be like the the prey, though. Mm -hmm. Essentially is. But whether or not it goes that way. Yeah, the townsfolk <laughs> are into setting people up and yeah. feeding the... It's one of those small towns, you know, everyone knows everyone and... They're feeding the demon, so to speak. Exactly. So okay. Everybody's got to feed the demon once in a while. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the fact that Nick Cage doesn't talk in this movie does not take away from it at all. He didn't need to talk. No, it's entertaining. I never thought I'd watch so many films where I was okay with people not talking. Yeah, right. <laughs> but it was super entertaining. And he didn't need to talk. I could still, I still understood him, even though he was not speaking. Now, if you are a fan of FNAF or Five Nights at Freddy, then this is going to be something for you. Because essentially it's the same premise. And then if you grew up around a Chuck E. Cheese, not the lame ones that they have now. The one that I grew up in had two floors, it had three different stages, yeah. and it had multiple animatronic dolls that yeah, were there. Yeah, there was more than just Chuck. He had his friends, mm -hmm. and they would do like singing and dancing and... They were creepy, let's yeah. face it. Yeah, and as creepy as some of these are in there, yeah, some of those were too. Yeah, definitely. It reminds me of that. And Thank God they retired some of them. When they showed the trailer, now our daughters have not seen this movie, but when they showed the trailer, they were like, oh, this is like Five Nights at Freddy's. So, again, you're going to get that feel from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this one is definitely a, a good time to have and sit back and watch, like I said. Not that much gore. I thought there would be a little bit more. Mm -mm. There's probably, I would say, more animatronic oil blood than there is real blood. Yeah, and it's, it, you know, he says oil blood. It really is like, it's like black. It's not, it's like cruddy oil. It's cruddy, dirty oil. Mm -hmm. It's just black. So it's not anything that, like, is going to look, you know, super slasher-esque or anything like that. And there are, there is sex scene so that's the main reason our girls haven't seen it yeah it's kind of a lame one it is kind of lame but i always forget when it's coming and i don't want to be like cover your eyes at the wrong spot so mm -hmm. <laughs> because i don't want to watch those scenes with them <laughs> so so there is some good artwork and coloring in this yeah 
as you can see the red and blues behind us there's colors like that in the the movie too for certain mm -hmm. scenes which i always kind of find cool so it reminds me of the movie driven and the last night in soho that mm -hmm. it just it titillizes the senses when i see those colors in there just rather than just the regular everyday colors yeah it's vibrant yeah. it's nice to have the different colors in there especially because it is i mean uh, otherwise the film is kind of dark right it's in a business that's not open so there's like some windows are boarded up and it is very dark inside so it's nice to have those colors yep so like i said kick back enjoy it it's just nick cage killing things and yeah. that's really it that yeah. sums it up yeah it's like one of those mindless watch right like you don't have to put any thought into it you don't have to put your 100 percent attention into it if you were to like look away you're not really gonna i mean you're not gonna miss him talking obviously so it's a good movie to just if you just want to sit back and relax and watch a movie mm -hmm. instead of having to really like pay attention or you know follow every scene or if there were subtitles which we all know how much i hate those mm -hmm. <laughs> all right and you know that it is the quest for 5,000 subscribers so thank you if you are subscribed we appreciate you because not only do you help support the channel but it allows us to bring content on independent artists like the Fuzz on the Lens crew that just dropped Terrifier 2, or Jason Brooks, who just released the latest night, uh, Friday the 13th film on YouTube for free. Vengeance Part 2, go check it out. And then there's a host of other uh, artists and directors and tattoo artists that we feature. So thank you for that. And it is, like I said, the quest for 5,000 subscribers. So when we reach that number, we'll be giving away this box of Strawberries and Scream only available on Nerdbox because it is signed by David Arquette and Matthew Lillard. So add that to your collection. Yes. And until tomorrow, see, see ya. ya.